died and now we're on to the next episode welcome back to the episode folks we're here doing the game again and i'm talking through a thing whatever this is called walkie talkie that's what it's called over to cam's side where he can hear me and there's oh there's a guy walking through that i just saw i just saw a creepy dude walk across this i don't know what just happened uh that was weird. Also, I'm in like a huge amount of hallways, so that's a thing. Over. Oh, interesting. Um, I still have to do an intro, so give me just a second. Oh. Welcome to episode two of We Were Here, the thriller brought to you by Narfi Man and Dr. Radiant uh, that no one really asked for in these trying times, but you are getting anyways because it is very interesting. I'm currently joined by Ryan on the other side of the walkie-talkie. For those of you who tuned in last time, Ryan, say hi. Over. Hi, people. It's me talking through a walkie-talkie. That's why my audio quality is so garbage. Yay! Woo! Okay, I'm going to hand it back over to Cat. Over. <laughs> Roger that. So, for those of you who didn't tune in last time, uh, you really should, otherwise most of this won't make sense. But uh, I'm told that Ryan is in a new room, and uh, I am currently in the same room. I think I'm more the control center in this equation uh, as the librarian. Over. Oh, I'm the librarian! That's why I have the books! <laughs> Over. Cam! <laughs> yes, of course! That's a <laughs> Boy, I swear. Okay, uh, yes. I'm, <laughs> I'm in a new, I guess, quote-unquote room. It's more of uh, a series of hallways with a bunch of gates and paintings all over the place. I don't entirely know where I started from, so I'm just kind of wandering through the halls, figuring out what's here. Over. Ryan, what color is your hallway, Lord? Well, the hallway has multiple colors. Uh, the gates each have a different colored bead on them, I guess, and there's switches throughout the hall with that corresponding color. The, the hallway itself is a nice dark gray stone color, but I don't think that's what you're asking for, so I figured I'd say it anyways, over. <laughs> well, what I'm wondering is I have a map here that has a, like a long, weird corridor highlighted in dark gray that I think might help you. Oh. I believe that's correct, actually. I think you're right. Uh, does it have any other colors or like spots on it, over? No, sir, it's a, it's a dark hallway surrounded almost entirely by staircases. Actually, that's a lie. It is entirely surrounded by staircases, different rooms uh, that I think might be activated by the switches and beads you're talking about. Uh, does your hallway go up into different levels by chance? Like, are there ways to get to higher points uh, in your hallway? Over. Yes, there are. Uh, and I do see what you're saying about rooms. I think that map is exactly what I'm wandering through right now. Over. Okay, I think we're going to have to go to the books, which will be very interesting. Uh, stand by. Okay, so there's like a lot of uh, rooms. Is there a starting color for you? Over. Yes, the starting color was white. Over. White. White. Got it. Okay. Currently looking for a white book. Over. I own a freaking library. I can't find a white book. Over. That's fine. Uh, I think there's there's a couple other things. There's like paintings of other, more animals around here. I don't. They don't have any symbols that correspond to them, but there's there's certainly a lot of paintings of like dogs and stuff over. Uh, Roger that. Um, a lot of paintings of dogs, huh? Uh, I'm not seeing anything that corresponds with that on my end. Of Okay, 10-4, that's weird, because there's like, there's like a, a dog that has like a candelabra on its head. The, the paintings are just really weird. Um, yeah, they're, and they're all over the, they're not like all over the place, but like every once in a while I'll see one and it's just weird. So that's, that's interesting. Over. 10-4. Oh, 10 four. I am still looking for books at the moment. Over. 10-4. If this helps you, I'm currently at the highest point of the hallway, I believe. This looks, and it's really dark up here, but uh, I think I'm at the highest point. Over. I don't know what any of this means, but it's really cool. It's really fun. And uh, I'm intrigued to see where this goes. Uh, Ryan, when you walk straight out from the end of the hallway, how many steps can you take? Oh. Um, steps-wise, I'm not sure, but there's just one staircase, and it goes down to this, like, corner, I guess. Over. When you go straight, do you come into a square room or a rectangular room? I believe it's just a square. It, it's just one, um, one sort of small 
room. Over. Ryan, I think I know where you are. Oh. Beautiful! You got any news for me? Over. Oh, uh, well, the latest news, uh... Actually, no, we're not... We're, this is escapism. So we're not gonna talk about what's on the news <laughs> right now. I'm gonna see if I can find a book to guide you, Oh. Okay, sounds good. I'm still kind of looking around, but I know exactly where I am now. So uh, I'll tune back in, or I'll, I'll check in with you when you find that book. Over. This is super cool. Uh, I have no idea where I am right now. Still kind of looking around, but I know exactly where I am now. So I have no idea where I am right now. Also, the, the way that you guys can tell that I'm talking to Cam is I press the button and you can see the walkie-talkie pop up underneath my face cam there. Um, so if, okay, if I have a ton that. of different books with a lot of different directions on them that I don't know what to do with. Um, let's see. I'm going to read this out loud because I have to process this. I'm at that double staircase, so I know where I am so that he can kind of go from there. Whew, this is interesting. This is fascinating. I'm a big fan of this game. This is a really cool game. The art style is really cool. The puzzles are really cool. It's really cool. Super fun. Big fan. Big fan. Okay, Ryan, I think I got where you need to start. All right, lead me there. I'm by the double staircase. Over. Let's see, before one starts in the west, take one step towards the eastern wall. Start off by taking two steps. Roger that. Uh, head out the only other way that you can. Over. Okay, see now this is this is where it gets interesting because there's a, currently a blue gate blocking that. So I need to find the blue switch, which is somewhere on this side. So I think what the plan should be is I'll tell you which directions I'm going, uh, and you can kind of just hopefully keep track of where I am and then lead me back here. Is that okay? Over. Roger that. I think that means that you need to start in the east corner, which is helpful for me. Over. Okay, 10-4. Uh, I can, I know how to open this gate. I just need to find the blue switch. Over. Roger that. Let me see if these directions will help you. Over. Okay, 10-4. Over. I am wondering, um, however, this might I don't know if these directions apply to this. Do the directions apply to this map necessarily? Because this, it could just be, the, the puzzle here just seems to be the gates, because there's so many gates here. That might be the thing, over. Roger that, let's try shifting gears for a little bit. This doesn't seem to be working. All right, cool. So I'm gonna start in that, in, in this room over here, and I'll just kind of walk you through where I'm going, uh, and you can kind of keep track of where I'm at, over. Roger that, let me get to my map real quick. Over. Alright, so I'm starting in that room with the, the two tables in that in the one crate, or the two long crates as you said. Uh, and I'm going to just start walking out this hallway, going straight on the T uh, into this corner here. Uh, and I'm going to turn left, go straight, and I'm at a point, I'm at a room that has a bunch of different exits and stuff. Over. Roger that, are you still facing straight after coming out of that hallway? Um, yes, but the, the way that goes straight forward is blocked by a gate. Over. Roger that. That stairway leads to a small room. The room on the stairway on your left leads to another staircase that will head right. And the staircase on your right leads to another hallway. Over. Alright, I'm going to take the one on my right. Uh, let me flip this green switch that's in this room really quick, uh, and then I'll go back the blue way. Over. Roger that. You seem to be getting results, so do what you're going to do. Over. Yeah, okay, so that's good. So that green switch blocks off the other direction that I didn't just come from, uh, and so I'm going to go up that staircase back the way I came. Over. Roger that. Keep me posted as, you do, as you're going. Over. All right, walking forward, turning right. Um, I'm in the, that T sort of spot. There's the long hallway, and then there's the way up that ends. I'm gonna go down the long hallway that continues, 
uh, going down a flight of stairs, and I'm at a point, I'm in that corner room again. I'm just wanting to double check to make sure that there are no switches in this room. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna continue up the stairs to the left that are, we're not, um, that are, yeah, that are those. And uh, I'm at the starting point now, over. This is so interesting, and I'm not sure in the right, I'm on the right spot, but I think we're doing okay. We're doing, we're doing all right. This is super fascinating. Ryan? What exactly dragged in front of you? Over? It looked like a some sort of body. Uh, I've seen... I saw a little... Some sort of hooded figure running through the halls at one point before. And then I just saw something dragging in front of me recently. So, two different anomalies. I would not be surprised if I saw more. Over. Roger that. Because I have a book here that says, In the western corner lies your start. Keep moving north, but watch your step. Before the east tile, you must head... Oh, before the last tile, you must head east. Over. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know what that means. Uh, but the, the things dragging in front of me are just random someone wandering through these halls. So, yeah, I don't think it applies to the puzzle that much, but it just is really creepy. So that's cool. Over. Um, I'm in a rectangular room. Uh, and I'm gonna look. Oh, you know what? I see where it is. Okay, that is good to know. I'm gonna go back to the first room that I was in. Over. Roger that. The one with the blue switch. Over. Uh, no, I'm gonna go to the green switch room. I don't know if you know which one that one is, but it's the. Uh, I think it's the four. No, it's not. It's. It's the room with the piece taken out of it. Over. Roger that. Over. Once I get there, I'm going to flip the green switch because there is a green gate blocking the red switch. So that's what I'm going to do. Over. Roger that. Keep doing what you're doing. Sounds like it's going well. Over. Yeah, I think I have a handle on where things are now, which is good. I think that map was very, very helpful originally getting my bearings. So that's good. Cool. Over. Roger that. It's just occurring to me. Do you think these walkie-talkies have batteries? Over. That would really suck if, like, halfway through, we just, like, couldn't talk to each other anymore. Over. Yeah, I think that would be a really poor mechanic. So I'm going to go... I'm going to choose to believe that there are no batteries. Uh, over. I'm going to agree with that. And uh, we're going to just uh, cross our fingers and hope that we don't have to recharge them or somehow we die because of it. I don't know. Over. Roger that. Fingers crossed. Over. Okay, just for reference, I have flipped the green switch and flipped the blue switch, and I am heading down the right side of the map again, I believe. Over. Roger that. Can you describe what you're doing as you're going so I can get a reference for where you are? Over. Sure. I'm going back up another staircase. I'm in the rectangular room uh, and going um, to the right side, down a flight of stairs into a square room that has the red switch in it. Over. Roger, I know where you are. Over. Okay, awesome. Going back up, back into that rectangular room. Uh, how, do you know where the door is, where that double wide staircase is from where I am? Over. I can lead you there if you'd like. That would be glorious. Over. So as you're coming back into that rectangular room from that small square room, you're going to want to head in the corridor that doesn't have a staircase and turn right. Over. Okay, 10-4. I'm there. Turn left at that staircase and go down, go up or down whatever staircase as you find. The staircase double wide should be on your right. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Um, that is now blocked, so I think we're going to have to go the other way around. Over. Roger that. I'll lead you there. Uh, so uh, go exactly reverse of what you just did and find your way back into that rectangular room and let me know when you're done. So, over. All right, I'm there. Over. Make an immediate right and head for that far staircase on your right uh, and go, I believe, up those stairs. Over. It's down, but yes. Over. Roger that. Uh, make a left and head, or sorry, yeah, make a left and then another left and go uh, down those staircases. Over. 10-4. Uh, okay, continue to work your way down and then turn right and head past that staircase on your left. Uh, you should find yourself at the starting point. Over. 
Yes, I am there. I think I'm going to flip the blue switch. I'm pretty sure I need to open a door to get through. Over. Roger that. Over. Okay, blue switch is flipped. Going back to the starting point. Over. Roger that. I'm pretty sure this is what the books are for, but I feel like this way is actually easier. Over. I think you're right. I think since we've been wandering around so much, we kind of just know where things are, so that's helpful. Over. Stupid game trying to give us cheat codes or something? What, what do you, you think we are? <laughs> uh, beginners? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I am wandering down this hallway. Uh, I think I kind of know where I'm going. I am now in the room with the corner taken out of it. Over. Roger that. Make a right and you should be there. Over. Okay, beautiful. We are just about there. Over. Roger. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Hey, the gate is open. The door is open. Checkpoint has been reached, it's telling me, and the door is automatically opened. I am now in a courtyard with a chess game. Over. You're in a courtyard with a what? Over. Also, I'm hearing footsteps that scared the living hell out of me. Over. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of footsteps as well. I'm in a courtyard that has chess. It's a giant chess board. Also, there seems to be a generator in the corner, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I'm going to look around a little bit. Over. Roger that. I'll do the same. Over. Oh, P.S. I got a... I got an achievement that called me Dungeon Master, and I felt very cool. Over. That is pretty legit, honestly. Over. I also just noticed that the corners of my screen are freezing a bit, um, so I might need to do this quick. I'm not sure. Roger that. Uh okay, I just powered up this generator. Uh, and I don't know what it did, but the generator is now on. So that's a thing. Over. Roger that. I'm looking around. Over. Oh. Okay, I just turned another crank. I think that starts up the chess game. I'm going to see if I can play chess and win here. I am freezing. Okay. Okay, so what it looks like is I have to play chess here. Um, I just don't know which team needs to win. Over. Can is there a way that you know that which team needs to win? Over. Uh, I have on my end uh, stained glass with a red king, and then I have a painting of a, a king in white. I don't know if that helps you. I think it might be white. Over. I think it's racist. Oh. I think you might be right. Let me try to play this to get the white team to win. Over. Roger that. Try not to freeze. Over. No promises. Over. Okay, I tried to do a move and a bunch of things moved back, and I'm not sure why, so I'm going to figure this out. Over. Roger that. Let me know if there's anything you need. Over. 10 4. Pep talks are included in that. Interesting. Okay. Over. Oh boy, I just got real cold real quick. That's interesting. Over. Roger that. Maybe the game is connected to your freezing somehow? Over. Possibly. I'm still trying to play this chess and I keep moving back for some reason and I don't think they're supposed to. Over. Yeah, for some reason these pieces don't like to move correct. They don't, they don't like to do this. And I think I'm going to die very shortly, so that's interesting. I think you might need to find a book of some sort that has move it, movements, piece movements. I think that'll be important. Over. I am very Roger, cold. Do you think that's what the books are for? Over. Um, honestly, well, the the directional ones. I don't I don't know. Um, because I just keep moving pawns, and once I try to move a third one, they all go back to where they were. Over. Roger, that is a very dysfunctional chessboard. Over. Indeed it is. Over. Ryan, I just flipped the lever. Over. 
Whoa, I just got really cold really quickly. Uh, I'm just slowly freezing here and I can barely see a thing. Over. That fixed it. Yeah, so it seems that the chess pieces are literally only moving two, and I think there's something that you need to tell me. I just don't know what it is. Over. I have a lever with a white tip over here that I can flip. Over. I'm about to flip it. Let me know what happens. Roger. Or over. Something. Over. <laughs> I don't see anything happening, but I am almost frozen solid. Over. I just flipped the switch. Did anything happen? Over. No, I don't see anything. Over. <laughs> I can see barely anything. I think I'm about to freeze to death here, and we might lose this real quick here. <laughs> Over. Okay, I really have no idea. Um, uh, <laughs> we're kind of kind of stuck here. Uh, I don't know what to do. Over. Uh, Roger that. Uh, I'm seeing, like, nice pieces of armor. I'm seeing if any of them can move or they're related over. Oh no! Yeah, that's great. Oh no. Oh dear. Yeah, I froze to death. You froze! Sorry, okay. I, my mom came um, in and was trying to figure out dinner. Oh no, okay. I, can, I can hear it. Don't worry. I can yeah. hear your mother. Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna call episode two there. Yeah! Uh, and we will try to not freeze to death at episode three, so if you liked what you saw, please stick around for the next episode. Woo! Uh, Ryan, help. <laughs> don't freeze. <laughs> yeah, don't freeze. That's the important lesson here. Uh, please like and subscribe. Please check out all of our other stuff. We both have tons of content that we're Lots of stuff. Out, so, Lots uh, of stuff. Be sure to check that out. We love you all. We hope you're staying safe. Hope you're not freezing to death. And we will see you in episode three. Woo! Bye-bye!